Hi, hello guys, uh, this is Luke. Um, I have uh, promised to make a review of the K16S after 1000 kilometers. In fact, in two months I've made over 1300 kilometers, uh, which I can show using wheel log. Have a look. This is only two months which I have the, the wheel. It is nicely connected and also reflected on the watch. You can see the speed and the total distance is, as you can see, 1306 kilometers as of today. Um, what I can say about the wheel? Uh, I still confirm that I believe that this is the much better than K16 model. It's more stable, it offers higher speed, it is less noisy. Um, also, it is uh, as it has a thicker axis, it, offer, it offers better stability when you jump and uh, when you go down from like uh, curbs or s such things. Um, what else? What is nice? Um, it has better uh, ability to uh, cope with overcharging, especially when you go down on the uh, longer slopes. Even if the wheel is fully charged, it has, uh, uh, because it has this is slightly different setup of the batteries, it offers better um, handling of such situations. It does not get overcharged so quickly. Uh, it's quieter than the regular KS16. Um, range is through about 60-70 kilometers from one charge. Um, it's more than enough for the daily use. Usually you are getting tired earlier than you consume all the power from the wheel. So uh, I think it's the best wheel on the market right now. I have recently compared this to um, Gotway ACM 1600 watt hours and Gotway is simply too heavy and it has no integrated handle so it is not so easy to carry on speed. Maybe it's slightly quicker, but does not offer any really higher uh, acceleration. Um, braking is about the same. And what is the problem with Gotway? That it is 84 volt version, which usually is not so ideal situation right now because of some problems that Gotway has um, with the uh, quality. Also, uh, Kingsong has integrated handle and this is really good solution. Um, the handle on Gotway on the back is not really the best idea because it does not offer the same portability and um, stability of the device. By the way, I have made uh, only few add-ons to KS16. It's almost perfect wheel. As you knew from my previous movies, I made the magnetic pedals which you simply kick, fold and unfold, it's pretty easy. So, and this is pretty simple modification, I've made some materials um, and um, so easy, easy to, to make. On front there is only the reflective tape, on the sides it's a rubber cushion, very basic, and on the back uh, two modifications, one is the reflective tape, which is like obvious, and I have made custom LED lights. This is because original LED light on King Song is slightly weak in my opinion. Uh, it's maybe not so, so much necessary but I like to be visible slightly too much visible than not enough visible so this is my my opinion and uh, so setup is like this. Except for that no changes, uh, no modifications needed, uh, perfect wheel as I said, very good stability, very good ride, uh, true range, um, thicker axis, so it betters, it handles better the uh, curbs or jumps. Also, it handles better the longer rides uphill, uh, runs uphill very smooth, uh, no issues, um, easy, no problems at all. Also, when you go downhill, it handles um, longer slopes very well. 
no issues with um, battery overcharging and such things. So I have to say that as for the mid of 2017, uh, in my personal opinion, it's the best wheel available on the market uh, with uh, what we can get in the 16 inch size. Okay guys, uh, that's about it. I hope that you can see the wheel really from all angles. If you have any questions, please ask on the YouTube in comments. I'll try to respond and uh, happy wheeling for everybody. Thanks a lot. Uh, bye.